what are you resisting um, it is the thing that's holding you back sometimes we need a spiritual unclogging we need an enema to bust up the <laughs> that's a disgusting analogy What are you resisting? Um, I shared a very personal testimony of my own in a post called What Are You Resisting earlier on in the group. And one of my spiritual mentors, I heard her say the word resistance or something like that in one of the teaching tapes. And then I heard inside of my spirit the words, what are you resisting? And I felt like I needed to pray to myself for God to remove the resistance that I had to anything that he wanted for me. The testimony that I shared was about how he absolutely did that. So I just wanted to jump on and just punctuate that question of what are you resisting by asking you guys, have you prayed that prayer? And what has God been removing in you to resisting what he has for you? People could be resisting doing what God told them to do, as in, fear of success and that's something that I'm totally guilty of as in resistance to moving forward in the space that you know that God been done told you he been done told you and you just are comfortable and you are settled and you are stagnant and stagnant if you've ever been around stagnant water it has a smell to it and the reason it has a smell to it is because it's collecting dead things in the stagnant water and things the bad things start to grow and things start to die and it has a stench and so your your purpose and your um what god has designed you for has creek has collected a stench and because you're stagnant and you're resisting flowing and moving freely in what he has told you to do now if i'm going to be 100 percent honest this group and things like this are part of me flushing out the stagnant, uh, my own stagnant behavior in this space in that I have, I am designed as an encourager. I am designed as a motivator. I am designed as a coach. I'm probably in another life, I probably should have been a therapist. Um, <laughs> but I have been resisting that in my own life because I felt I'm also a perfectionist and when you're a perfectionist you feel like things have to be at a hundred percent before you move and I never felt like I was at a hundred percent but most recently especially with my experiences in 2016 in maturing and turning 40 in studying and growing in um, <clears throat> excuse me in just um, growing and expanding in my own understanding of who I am in my spirit and myself. I, I've, I understand that I don't have to be 100%. That God has designed me for specifically where I am and he's given me very exact and specific experiences in my life that motivate and inspire other people. And so that's one of the things that people could be resisting. The fact that you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing and you're resisting it because you don't think that you're a hundred percent where it needs to be when god says all you have to do is be a water walker you just need to take your foot and put it out of the boat another thing that people might be resisting is moving in a direction because they don't want to hurt somebody else's feelings so you might have a mother who you think might be hurt by you telling your story or a family member who um, is trying to do the thing that you know you can do and you don't want them to feel some kind of way when you succeed and you pass them. Um, you might have a, I don't know, a spouse, a friend, somebody who's not supportive and you are resisting moving in a direction. You're resisting doing what you know you have to do um, for your health, for example. Let's say you and your um, husband are poor eaters and you have tried to eat in a healthy fashion because you know it's good for your health in the past but he's unsupportive and he makes fun of you and he's like oh now you're a rabbit oh now oh now you don't want this bacon and he's walking around the house eating mcdonald's fries and laughing at you when you're making your green smoothies and making it difficult for you to go and work out and so you just gave up 
you just gave up. So what God has for you is a healthy lifestyle. What God has for you is a clear thought process. What God has for you is clear skin. What God has for you is cardiovascular health. What God has for you is a sexy body that makes you feel confident, but you're resisting it because you don't want to deal with the blockage of this person. Really important to remove blockages if you want to move forward. You cannot grow if there's resistance. Growth does not happen when something's blocking it. When something's blocking, there are two choices. It either dies or it moves around it. If you look at a tree and you're, a tree is growing and you put something in the way of the tree, the tree is only going to st either going to stagnate and die when that blockage is there or the branch is going to grow around it. You have to learn how to release those resisted things to God so that you can grow in a direction around sometimes the obstacle. Either the obstacle is going to have to move or grow around the obstacle and keep moving. It's fully my example of jumping out in a space that I already do naturally and that I know God has called me to will inspire one of you to do the same whether it is whether it is being a caretaker, whether you dance, whether you cook, whether you make spreadsheets, whether you do hair, I don't care what it is, what are you resisting? Um, it is the thing that's holding you back. Sometimes we need a spiritual unclogging. We need an enema to bust up the, that's a disgusting analogy, but to bust up the thing that's blocking us so that we can have some movement and we can flow. Mm -hmm.